So I'm looking for houses to buy in the New Hampshire area, and the CIA thinks it's funny to include one of their death houses in my searches. I don't know if they get off on having me visit one of their hell houses and think that I won't notice that something is wrong there or what, but this is how the cult operates. On one level, it's all a big game to these evil people who like to manipulate others, who usually have no idea that they are being manipulated. So the cult will have them visit places like this, or leave cult markings around an area, as if to say their targets should have been more aware. It's the source of the concept that the Illuminati warns people ahead of time, usually subliminally, and if the people are too blind to see it, that is the reason why they get manipulated and victimized by the cult. So this place is on Route 31, or 2nd New Hampshire Turnpike in Hillsborough, New Hampshire. It's marked 528 2nd New Hampshire Turnpike, but the cult messes with a lot of addresses frequently, and the numbers were off on this stretch of road when I tried to find the house. So that is why when your establishment is taken over by cult member scum, they could get away with almost anything. Especially when they completely take over certain areas and form plant communities. So a nearby cross street is Hall Road. And this property was listed by Eric Hagstrom of Hagstrom Real Estate on the internet. So the first thing I noticed is that there's this large garage with this weird latch on the door and up top what looks like a camera or some sort of sensor on top in this round device. The front of the house is yellow and it seems like there's been a couple of additions added. The first addition is this strange garage with stone front and fortress styled wooden doors. Then walking clockwise around the front of the house, you'll see this other section, which looks like another addition because it's like a block joined to the front of the house. So the house is like three blocks joined together. The garage section, the front of the house, and this strange rectangular section in the back. And what makes this really odd, this section back here, is that there's a back door leading to this small room that has a giant fireplace. This fireplace takes up one whole wall in this tiny room. And this addition does not look too old. So why would they build this tiny room with a giant fireplace? In any traditional manner, this is structurally off. Who would build it like this? A tiny room built just for this oversized stone fireplace. And the stonework on the fireplace looks similar to the stonework on the garage and arc sections in the front of the house. What is also odd is that the back of the house is painted red, while the front of the house is yellow. The rear of the house is red and both paint jobs appear new. So why would the owner choose to paint the house two different colors? Once again, I want to remind everyone that there's a rear entrance that leads into this small room with an oversized fireplace. So that's the back of it right now. There's an entrance, three windows, and a door leading into that room with a fireplace. There's the chimney that is connected to the oversized fireplace. And if you notice, there is a, these doors have been blocked off here. It looks like they've been closed in and like uh, someone used concrete and sealed off the back entrance. And the window here is completely tinted. It's like limo tint. You can't see in through this window. And I don't think there's any windows on this side. And this leads out to the front where this disheveled barn is to the right of the house when you're looking straight at the house.